Welcome back to another episode on b Hall Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, I take the plunge and try to mod my Sega Dreamcast with a GD EMU to play games on my Sega Dreamcast with an SD card. As time passes on, and I realize that my consoles that I own are getting older and older, no matter how clean and neat I take care of them. I pretty much thought most of my consoles stood the test of time until my famed Sega CD disc reader just stopped reading. Trying to boot up Lunar 2 again, I found that the disc just wouldn't read anymore, but the system was just fine. Getting the optical disc reader fixed was pretty pricey, especially since I owned the original Sega CD before they made fixes, especially to the optical drive to last longer. Worried for my Sega Saturn, PS2, and anything disc-based, I asked to find solutions that financially make sense. Running by the Sega Dreamcast and the GDEMU, I noticed so many YouTube videos on cloned versions of the parts and give it a try due to the price. The cost was very low, having the GDEMU at $60 and the 128GB SD card at another $15. The price was worth the plunge at a mere $75. Plus, I'm able to purchase this through Amazon, and I can return it with ease if anything went wrong. Also, make sure your version of the Dreamcast is 1, or it will not work. Getting the parts in the mail within a couple days, there was the GDEMU chipset alone with no instructions. This didn't worry me at all with the videos online. Following ETA Prime's channel, I found the installation to be very easy and just about 30 minutes in total from watching the video and also putting it together on my Dreamcast. The hardest part of the whole project is finding the CDI or GDI file for your Dreamcast to play off the SD card. Once you have all that done, ETA Prime also explains exactly how to do this and to eventually have your Dreamcast running. The biggest pro I noticed so far is that the loading screens are incredibly fast. Owning a PS5 and Xbox Series X, the loading screens are awesome in comparison with their SDD hard drive. The Dreamcast as similar as there is no disk to buffer the information from. The information comes from the SD card that goes straight to the hardware and takes seconds when loading games. With the Thomas Wave arcade boards being based off of the Naomi board in the Dreamcast, we are now seeing G arcade and Thomas Wave ports to the Dreamcast themselves, bringing life back into the console. Here's a quick look at the default disc-based loading screen in comparison to the SD card from the GDEMU. The differences is incredible and really holds its own on most Dreamcast games. I found the only real issue is that online there are GDI original game files and CDI disk space files to play. CDI files seem to be more popular as they fit into a normal CDR disk and plays off the Dreamcast but does suffer from compressed videos and other items to make the game fit. The GDI format is the preferred version and my own as it's complete 
with a complete game not compressed in any way but less popular because of its size. Overall, a fantastic mod for the Dreamcast to keep it alive and a way to play games on original hardware with a huge load boost. Now I'm looking for a cheaper version for the Sega Saturn as the price for that machine is way too high at this point. That's it for me on this look at the Dreamcast mod with a GD EMU installation. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.